Hi, I'm Don. Today is the first time I'm painting more than five miniatures at a time. So we're painting this Lord of the Rings miniatures, minions, and turn them into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. First off, I failed to include this in my last video. This is Kimmy 09s entry for our Discord activity last month for Spooky October. Also, do check out Creature Caster on the 25th. That would be on Black Friday. Now back to the video. This video is just a vlog of sorts because I just want to share my experience with my personal challenge of doing a batch painting of this Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth like 12 Rufian figures and Goblin Scouts. Batch painting for me is a challenge because personally I find miniatures so expensive. Seriously guys, I'm, I, I find miniatures expensive until now because, well, one, I'm poor and the other one is that I was a toy collector since I was young and a spawn figure is like just a grand or less than when I was younger and Lord of the Rings action figures were like 800 bucks back then most likely if you have them now it's a thousand peso each which is not even one warhammer so and then eventually i got into gunpla and got serious with it and gunpla like for example the tau i just finished is the same price as an eight inch gunpla that is so crazy well engineered so it's mostly my background and of course my <laughs> status in life that's the reason why i can't really do batch painting because i'm afraid to ruin the miniatures if i do rush or speed painting however today since me and my kids enjoy playing with these figures with this game the journeys in middle earth so much I decided to do like a batch painting of the minions first, the Rufians and the Goblin Scouts. The main challenge here is that I'm painting 12 miniatures like I would paint a single mini. So that would be like layering, glaring, and some glazes and even a very mediocre like nmm version but basically i'm trying to paint it as good as i can with a few compromises just to come up with a fairly good army after after like spending quite a time with these miniatures so it took me roughly around three days and a half to finish all 12 miniatures i do think i could paint these models or like do batch painting faster but don't get me wrong i'm not saying that i don't like like the speed paints and stuff or i mean the contrast paint look and wherein you do the black and white value sketching and then you like put apply all the contrast paints or even inks i actually do that but i do that with just one miniature and i don't really rush ever when i paint miniatures i take my time put in layers and layers of transparent paints if i paint like my i paint it in sketch and glaze and then if i do layering i, I spend like around five to six hours per miniature not usually not more than that but again i haven't done it with 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 like a batch painting like this but it kind of worked out it got a bit boring at the middle especially during the painting of like the nmm and the painting of the leather parts but the painting of the skin was super fun it's like glazing 
and and layering skin for 12 miniatures was okay it took a bit of time i think it took me around six hours or eight hours for 12 miniatures to do the glazing of the skin and the layering and it turned out okay so since i kind of i kind of like tried to give this miniatures good skin i wasn't pressured to like spend so much time on the painting of the other elements of the minis also by the time was i was applying like the oil washes as you see in the video i'm pretty happy with the result already so it's just a matter of like toning down the highlights and adding more depth to the colors and then it's it's like basing time adding vallejo tufts and a few washes especially at the roots of the tufts to blend it with the basing now as usual before we reveal the finished minis i would just like to thank all my patrons all of the tiers especially my gold patrons and of course my highest tier my platinum patrons formerly called adamantium patron tier and these people are crazy me and my family appreciate the support so much also my top tier patrons get a five percent discount at pk pro now for the main like lesson learned with batch painting like all these 12 miniatures like how i would paint a single mini well it was fun and i'm very excited to play with these miniatures already because me and my kids enjoy it so much we've played the game for like the 10th time already but it will be the first time to play with the game again maybe on friday night with some painted minions so the main lesson really here is just paint your minis i mean paint it in whatever technique you want just like you could use an airbrush you could do like i think it's called slop chop now you could do um, pork chop lamb chop or whatever technique you want and you'll come up with eventually with good painted miniatures and a painted miniature always looks better than a gray one i hope you like this vlog video guys of course the tutorial long 23 minute version is at patreon That's it, Pansit. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!